Hi, this is Robbie from Southern California. I'm kind of doing an update on the hummingbirds with all the rain. We have had so much rain, a real downpour, and we've got more storms moving in that I would have loved to have gone live, but it would have really disturbed them. And that's one thing I don't want to do. Though we have, as you can see outside, I'm just going to show you a little update. See all the orange trees out there? It is full of flowers and they've been just feeding on that all week. They just love it. But the problem right now is with all the rain, the flowers are wet and the nectar may be a little bit disturbed. So they have been feeding like mad since this morning. Anytime it rains, it really brings them in because they can't find the insects. The pollen may get washed out of flowers, certain ones, depending on the position of the flowers and what type of plant it is. And while well, they're looking for something to build up their energy to keep them going. So I figured I would just kind of give you an update that if you've got hummingbirds and you know they're around, make sure you've got some food out there because that is one thing. Let me step back that is so important to them. The rain was so hard before it was blowing in. I've got towels all over. I had to keep the windows open because as fast as I was filling all these feeders all over, they were coming in by the thousands and just emptying them really quick. There's dots out there. There's close to a dozen feeders here set up on all the different windows. I've got them in different places in the yard. But right now, all the feeders have to be out of the rain. If the feeders get wet, then the food kind of neutralizes. It's not as sweet as it should be, and they won't feed on it because it will end up depleting their energy instead of helping them. Even food that's, let's say, a little, you would think a little is better than nothing. No, they won't feed on it because then they're flushing their system with more water than nectar. That's why you do a quarter of a cup of white granulated sugar and one cup of water. Now I will say that I am adding in at this time more sugar. I make it by the gallon, so my formula is a little different, but just you know, add in instead of a quarter of a cup, maybe an extra tablespoon of sugar. You don't wanna to do too much, that's not good, but close to let's say a tablespoon extra on top. This way, if it does get a little depleted with water blowing in, they will still have the right formula in which their body needs to use it. But as you can see, they're all over, they're out there, and the some of these don't know me, so they're not sure what I'm doing, but I've got all these feeders that you see out of the rain. Now, when it was driving and blowing in all over the place, then you've got all that water falling on top of the feeders, even though they're out of the rain, and it gets inside, and sometimes the top may have the right sugar consistency, but the bottom part being that it's getting full of water, or at least some water won't, and then they don't feed on it and they get very disturbed. And you'll know they're disturbed when they're just fluttering around and they want to feed and they take a little drink and then they leave. And you're, you're looking at your feeders saying, wait a minute, my feeders are full. Why are they doing that? Well, your feeders are full, but they're not at least a quarter of a cup of sugar to one cup of water. That is a recipe. It's really a recipe more than a formula. So if it goes down and let's say they have less sugar in the base of the feeder, that's when you'll see they'll come over and they will take a little bit and then leave. And you'll know at that point, maybe you better bring the feeder in, wash it out and put fresh food out, which I had to do this morning with all the driving rain. They're all doing good. As you can see, they're all over. Look at that, they're back there. I don't have the windows open because I don't want to disturb any of them. The ones that know me, oh yeah, they wanted to come in this morning, the rain was so bad, but that I couldn't do. But as you can see, they're on the other feeder, the whole feeder on the back there is completely full. They're all on there. Then I've got these feeders. And then of course there's dots, there's peanut butter cups, there's the, the ice cream containers. And of course they've got the flowers. You can see the sun is just going over the hill right now. Then I've got two of them here and more on the deck. But the point I just wanted to stress is if you've got your feeders out and it looks like they want the food, but they're fluttering and they're not feeding as they're doing here. See how they're sitting and they're feeding and they're all lined up. Well, that means the food is right. But if they came to it and left right away, now this one doesn't have any birds here because I'm too close to it. And a lot of these birds simply don't know me. 
The ones that know me don't care. I was trying to change all the feeders this morning and they were trying to come in. So keep an eye on your feeders. I know that you all try to keep them out of the rain when possible. Mine are, as you can see, under the eaves. But the point is, driving rain will dilute your feeders. And keep that in mind. Sometimes heavy morning dew will do the same thing. But especially driving rain. So that was it. They're all doing good. Hopefully we'll have a little bit of dry weather soon. But, you know, we need the rain. And it's nice when it rains at night and then it's sunny in the morning. But, you know, we don't always get the very best of what we want. We get what Mother Nature gives us. They've been coming in since early this morning, really early. They woke me up. They were so loud by the thousands. And I made sure all the feeders were full. And like I said, I opened the window. Let me step back for a minute. And the rain was just driving in. Here I'm trying to work on a project. And it was just, this wasn't at night, but when I opened it up, the, it was just blowing, just blowing in the window. So that meant, well, it was time to go through all the feeders and change them. With that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Stay warm if you're cold. And if you're in Australia, the other side of the world, well, try to stay cool. Bye-bye. <laughs>